Sandy Lechese is back in the papers. Let's see what Julia Madibojo wrote about it this time. The article is titled Forex Scam Machese Back in Business. It's business as usual for fraud accused Forex trader Sandy Lechese was expected to host another Forex trading seminar in Umtlanga, north of Durban, on Saturday. Mm. Chesey's public appearance at the top hotel comes while he is in the middle of a legal storm from cases opened by various investors in his business. On February 6th, he is set to appear at the Alexander Magistrates Court for allegedly scamming a retired principal of 1.2 million rand through his forex trading company three years ago. However, Chesey and his business partner King Murake are starting the year on a high note by advertising their upcoming seminar through his social media pages this week. The seminar, which is titled The Business Meeting, Meeting was scheduled to start at 10.30 a.m. on Saturday at the Fire and Ice Hotel in Umtlanga. So that was yesterday. The meeting is held under what appears to be a new company, Friends and Family Alliance. Last year, seven months after his arrest, Chesey's wife, Selendilium Kize, was arrested for alleged involvement in his forex trading business, which saw people invest in his companies after she allegedly lured them through advertisements on radio and on her social media pages. Kize was arrested in November on charges of fraud and money laundering. She was later released on 5,000 rand bail. I see in this article there's also a little piece about the principal that lost the payout. In an open letter to Shazi last year, she pleaded with him to openly clear her name following her arrest. Within an apology, I seek your commitment to make things right and to rectify the shattered pieces. Justice for my name? I've worked very hard for my name, championed the cause of justice and rid my name of unwarranted accusations, she pleaded. Now that part was still written by um, Selendilium Kize. We have a video of that statement. You can check that video out over here. She is who at once was hailed as South Africa's youngest self-made millionaire through forex trading, is facing charges of fraud after a Limpopo-based retired school principal opened a case against him after he was allegedly scammed. He allegedly promised the principal high profits and dividends after he invested his pension payout into his company. The principal did not receive the profits. The matter is back in court next week. So in court next week, Sandy Lechese will be appearing for um, the case of fraud that has been made against him by the school principal. I'm not sure how well he's going to be faring in this case because Sandy Lechese is not FCA registered to be taking money from people, to be soliciting funds from the public. And then secondly, he is not FCA regulated to make investments or to trade on people's behalf. This is going to be a really tough case because not only is Sandy Lechese embroiled in this, you must also understand that Selendile Mkise has also been dragged through this. Now, according to her, she has no involvement in this she has never used the radio station that she worked at to lure people into his investment schemes she also said that in her statement but she has now been dragged in this case i don't know how this is gonna be for her i don't know what the outlooks for her is gonna look like but as you guys can see it seems like sandy lechese is using her name as toilet paper and he is literally wiping himself off her as she has went to the public to plead to him to clear her name from any unfair accusations that has been made against her now if she wasn't part of this then that obviously is warranted he should make effort to clear her name but if she was with then obviously she needs to face the full arm of the law because these guys have been getting away with defrauding and scamming people for the longest of time. Sandy Lechese is also a presidential hopeful and he would like to run for president sometime in our country. And when I look at his track record of defrauding people, lying to people, taking from people, it seems like he fits the requirement to be a South African political figure. Seeing that this case will be back in court pretty soon, we almost definitely hear new news about Sandy Lechese in this coming days. Until then, we just have to be patient to wait for the results of this case so that we can find out will Sandy Lechese be sent to prison or will he walk out a free man? Thank you for joining and I'll see you guys in my next video.